everybody, it is 5am, it is also game day, and it's time for Run Club, so plenty of things to do today. Beautiful day, I'm really excited. The sun is not even out, it's pitch black outside as usual. Um, the sun is not shining. I'll stop talking, let's get it, game day baby. So when I first wake up, I try not to have any caffeine within the first two hours of waking. A lot of studies on it, go check it out. Um, but it's probably not 100% good for you. Um, but I have so many hydration um, samples that I'm going through, uh, which is absolutely elite. Um, so today I'm gonna have some of the orange pine hydration. I am doing a lemon lime and I'm gonna be running that very, very soon. So um, these are just the rest of the samples. But the lemon lime one is the best tasting, so uh, that's the first run that I'm going to do, and that's going to come out very, very soon. Hey. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Run club vlog. Run club vlog. Let's go. Second ever. Lou, Second what, what I'm going to have to say is, I'm vanilla baby. I'm vanilla baby. <laughs> I know. I know. I really just don't know the rest of it. This is Louis setting up the flag. Um, I'm not much of a flag setter up for us, so I'm just going to leave this one to Louis. Um, you need to help with anything? No, 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 I got it. You're all good? Oh, they spelt it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's yeah. not how you spell it. That looks actually sick. That looks really good. Now, I'm not going to lie, I did get one of these um, Vista print, and it hasn't. <laughs> I can't swear. It hasn't been sent, so I'm not very happy, Vista print. Okay, this is me connecting this only. Riveting content for you guys. Don't you know, pump it up. Oh, he's got the big jacket. Dude. <laughs> that is the craziest hair. <laughs> Best dressed at Run Club. <laughs> what time was it coming? 4 p.m. at Brighton Beach Hotel. 4 p.m. Brighton Beach Hotel. What were the two rules coming? Don't be a creep. And? Um, I can't remember. Happy over 18. Have a good time. Oh, I hope we'll see you there. <laughs> uh, don't be a creep. Happy over 18. Um, so yeah, thanks so much. 15 minutes that way, running all together or as fast as you want. And then turn around in 15 minutes. That means you can go as fast or as slow as you want. Um, there's absolutely no pressure. I think Tom's going to do a bit of a walking group. Yeah, but I don't know if anyone's going to walk. Just no run. No one's going to walk. Tom be on his own. So make sure you <laughs> have him on the bus. Stand it. Another successful run club. That's From me, obviously, you did so much in that round. Bob did heaps. <laughs> Lou, how far did you run? Five like days. Is that it? In 30 minutes. That's fast. And I was puffed. You look puffed when you finish. You only do five days. I think five. Nah, I'm proud of you, bro. Well done. Ah, in the so morning. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Take some prisoners. See you there, Deckers. See you there, Deck. Yes, we're going to keep going to the main table race. So, I took away Arlo Fainers. We made Arlo Fainers. Circle table at the back? Yeah, sit as far. Yeah. It could be. What the hell? What the hell have you got there? Where did you get them from? Oh, 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 o
<laughs> Zang. Stop selling so many products. <laughs> oh, you can Guys, if you want to do, if you do want to check out any of my products, use a close weekly vlog. Get 20% off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give you 100%. We'll, just, we'll give you them. Oh, you just, know, I actually do. Them. Well, I do have free programs, so you, like, you can't miss with that. You can't miss. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Should we get the? Should we just get the interval flag out and just Another put it? Victory. Oh fuck! I left it up. <laughs> now oh, it's time. Shit. We got an hour of oh, 30 minutes of content. It's a beautiful morning for it though. It's actually stunning. Um. Right, now, can you film me? Yeah. Let's nah. start with that. Nah. How about you film me, nah. buddy? Because you, you'll take 20 minutes to get changed. <laughs> Influencers in the wild. Another good day of content. <laughs> oh, shit. Um. Shout out to 2XU, they've given us these new light speed react shorts. 2XU is actually the go. It's actually two times you. Two times you. Yeah, guess. I only just realised that and I've been working with the brand for... Can we zoom in? Oh yeah. How good is this? Zoomy camera. Little swim off for the big fella. Here we go. Oh, what a day. There is no better way to start any day than jumping in the freaking Arctic Ocean that it lives here in Melbourne. There's something about it. It does. It kicks your day off. Kicks? Day is kicked. Feels like you've just been kicked in the nut. Yeah, in a good way. In a good nuts. Nuts in kicking. A good nut. Yeah. Mate, look at all those people skydiving over there. Incredible. Oh, they don't think they're skydiving. They're doing that, like, abseiling thing. Or what, what's it called? No, that's skydiving. It is skydiving? Yeah. Have you ever skydived? No. You? Nah, so definitely on the bucky though. Yeah? Definitely on the bucky. So I got home before, ended up having a shower, and uh, now we are racing our way to the game. We're not late or anything, but uh, I don't want to be late for the first game. Um, to be honest, it sends a pretty bad message um, to anyone that you're playing with. So, um, yeah, I guess uh, on the way down to one Thaggy today, we are playing for Phillip Island. Um, I actually don't really know what league they're both in, but I know that they're in different leagues, so we won't play one they get all this season. I will be playing for Phillip Island on the 30th of March. Today is obviously the 15th of March, yes. Um, so, I don't know, I, this was the first, Phillip Island was the first club that contacted me um, that was keen to kind of do an exhibition or a one-off game, and I said, bloody oath, I'll be absolutely wrapped. Um, I've never actually been to Phillip Island. Everyone that has been says it is fantastic, it's beautiful, it's amazing. Um, so I'm really, really keen to get down and see some, um, well, see Phillip Island, Island, but also see all of the other places that we're going to this year. Um, we've got games locked in in New South Wales, we've got a few here in Country Vic, um, and then we've got uh, ones in you know South Australia, a couple in Tassie, a couple in WA. Um, just the the, the opportunity this year that is happening, um, it's crazy. Like This is the third year that I've done the game day vlog, so I've done it for two years. And this year, I'm fortunate enough to travel around Australia and the world. We've got two games in um, overseas, so we've got one in New York and one in London. So the the opportunities that come from this, even though it's it still will you know create a heap of backlash and whatever, whatever, but like it's really fun. It's really, really enjoyable for me, um, and it's part of my job. So... Um, I'm just fortunate that you guys keep watching and watching them, and I'm allowed to, um, you know, allowed to do it as well. And massive thanks to the clubs and the sponsors as well for making it possible. Because, um, you know, without that, without the clubs being interested, then it would have, you know, it would have never happened. So, mate, it'll be really fun. I'm really keen to bring you guys um, some information on these various towns as well and places that I'm going. It's going to be a little bit of a mini trip around Australia and the world before June 30. Um, and it's going to be a heap of fun. So uh, apologies for this monologue, but um, I guess I've got nothing better to do on my drive down to One Thaggy, which is a two-hour drive from Melbourne, south, um, kind of south-east, if that makes sense. Yep, south-east from, from Melbourne. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty boring road, if I'm honest. <laughs> but yeah, it should be a really fun uh, year and massive thanks to Phillip Island, who we're going to be playing for on that Easter um, that Easter clash as well. So it'll be a good chance to meet all the boys, um, see the coach, etc., etc. And um, yeah, I'm really excited for season 2024. People will always seem to want to ask, or they're just wondering what I had for food yesterday. So yesterday, um, started off the morning pretty simple, just uh, had eggs on toast, and then I had a focaccia 
at midday, which was delicious. And then for the evening, I had two pizzas and a bowl of pasta, a big bowl of pasta. So, um, yeah, that's my pregame feed. Um, and obviously focusing on having high carbs with the focaccia um, that had like cheese and ham and stuff in it, which was delicious. Um, so breads and pastas, pizzas, that sort of stuff is absolutely fantastic to have um, before a game. And it's something that I've always done. I've always had pizza pasta since I was like 15. Um, either spaghetti bolognese or something of the like, and then a pizza. So that's always my go-to. Um, and just the high carbs makes me feel elite. I think that you should try to eat uh, like two or three hours before you go to bed. Last night I ate a little bit late. Uh, stayed up and watched three quarters of Collingwood Sydney and then, yeah, straight to bed, um, which is good. We got about five and a half hours of sleep yesterday or this morning. Um, obviously I had to get up early for the run club and happy to do that because I actually feel so much better getting up early in the morning. I've been 5 a.m. Uh, wake ups every single day this week which has been great. Um, and the more consistent wake times you have, the better you'll feel throughout uh, the week or the year, however long you do it for, you will just feel so much better. It's always a bit awkward rocking up to games and not knowing a single person. So, <laughs> it's always a bit nerve wracking. Um, you never really know what's gonna happen. Here we are, I'm saggy. Let's do it, oval looks sick. Good oval. I think they're pretty good as well, the one baby power. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another game day vlog. We are in our second practice match for the year and uh, we are playing with the Phillip Island Bulldogs. Now, we will be playing <laughs> Phillip Island on the uh, 30th of March, which is gonna be a Saturday, Easter Saturday clash against Warrigal. It is going to be a huge, Huge Easter Saturday clash. So make sure that you do get down if you are around the areas, if you're in Victoria, if you're in Melbourne, if you're around the Phillip Island area, it is going to be a huge Easter Saturday clash. Um, but it was great to get down and meet all the boys. I thought that it would be very important to make sure that I could learn some names and uh, meet the coach, meet a lot of people involved with the football club before I did come down and play round one with Phillip Island. So super, super exciting uh, getting down and playing a practice match against One Thaggy Power and I kind of just made it my, uh, I guess, goal to, to kind of learn every single person's names um, and and kind of <laughs> stop saying mate, 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 and figure out uh, you know what um, what to say, who you know who different kind of people are. Learn um, the ruckman was uh, was absolutely elite as well, Berkey. Um, you've got to learn like everyone's names, um, which is pretty hard because especially when you rock up, you're just like, chatting, chatting, chatting. Anyway, started off, uh, got a little bit of the ball in the first quarter, kind of staying off of the half forward flank, got a chance here and. Sold some candy and then went outside of the right boot and uh, yeah, missed it, which was I think I pretty much got dragged up for that. But anyway, play on. Um, and then was kind of playing up a little bit further to the stoppage. I was mixing my time between kind of half forward and, and wing and mid. Um, so I was getting back a little bit to help out the, uh, the defence. It was still pretty hard and uh, pretty hot early. One thing, Power actually don't play in the Phillip Island uh, competition. They're in a different comp, um, and they were grand finalists last year. I'm not 100% sure if they won it. Phillip Island um, were also grand finalists last year and have been a, a pretty strong um, club over over the last five to ten years. We had a few injuries, which is never good in practice matches. Uh, at all, but um, I think that most people did get through um, pretty well. But it's always an issue when you do uh, get those, um, yeah, get those little injuries. Probably should have grabbed this one here, but like this is a practice match, so I'm not 100% trying to take people's heads off. I'm really just going, um, you know, 80%. Again, not trying to get injured because I do have um, Easter Saturday games lined up, and then. Uh, a whole season of football um, pretty much lined up uh, with a lot of travel as well. So I don't want to be uh, on the back foot with with body issues, with um, with injuries. So this was really just kind of me 
um, slowly integrating myself into the team. And I do get a little bit of an imposter syndrome as well because these guys have all played together uh, a lot of footy. Um, and I was asking them, I was, you know, like, what, what are you guys all, um, you know, like, where have you all come from? They're all Phillip Island boys. So um, that was that was a bit of imposter syndrome. Good to get on the back shoulder of, um, of blokes on the stoppage because you can generally um, push them under in, you know, in that outside space um, if that's what you want, uh, if that's what you want to do, and then get on your bike and try and spread as quick as possible. Um, yeah, like I said, you do get a little bit of imposter syndrome sometimes with, uh, you know, with all these boys kind of knowing each other and playing footy, growing up Phillip Island, and, like, the only thing that you want to do is kind of, like, come in and and do the right thing. You don't want to be, you know, a flog or, um, you know, and some people probably already have those preconceived ideas about you. And, and like I said, it, it's really difficult getting into a club um, where no one really knows you. They only know you from social media and they could, like I said, have these preconceived ideas about you. So you kind of just want to go out and um, earn respect on the field. And, and um, you know, this goes for anyone that, that is going to play at a new club or anything this year. Like, the, the number one thing you got to do, one, is just be a good bloke. Great tackle. You know, um, be a good bloke off the field, but you also earn respect on the field. So, you know, playing hard. Um, I feel sorry for doing that to that kid. That, that, was, a bit, that was a bit dog in a practice match. But um, it is a good way to get an extra number at the contest, but I completely blindsided him. I didn't even, like, mean to put him off my own. So apologies for that. And he actually messaged me after the game. Like, oh, you're not going to the game. I'm sorry. But it was a pretty physical kind of match up. And once you go and once I got into the midfield and in the, into the second half, it was um, all about, you know, kind of really, um, yeah, I guess a little bit more physicality. This is a really good example of like just tracking back. Even if you're not, you know, getting the ball. Um, it's important to just keep tracking, tracking, tracking the ball because you could end up being an extra number at the contest. And even though I stop here, it's still kind of like in that tease distance. And like, if you give up uh, a long time ago and you kind of just like slowly tracking back, then you don't get that extra at the contest. So you've got to try as much as as you can and as hard as possible to to just keep tracking back and be that extra um, at the contest. We. Um, in terms of the way that we play, I obviously don't want to say too much because um, I don't want to give away too much to, um, to the opposition that, that we do play against um, Easter, Easter Saturday. Um, but we were playing some, um, yeah, some really exciting footy. Um, Wonthaggy got up on us. They were probably four or five goals up in the second quarter. And then in the second half, we really did start to kind of peg it back. Um, and I had an opportunity here. And... I went with the one hand, should have gone with the two, it was terrible. And then lucky enough to get holding the ball. Um, but yeah, probably should have gone with the two mitts. Um, and I was really angry, I was really frustrated. I thought that it wasn't free and gone back for the set shot and thought, here we go. It was just hit the post. It was very, very windy down there in Wanthagi. Um, not that that's an excuse, probably got to go back and snag them. But anyway, play on to right. Um, but yeah, we, we definitely did get uh, a few opportunities going forward um, to to put a, to put scores on the board, but um, we did kick quite inaccurately, which was an issue. So um, yeah, when you're kicking inaccurately, it, it is a it is a bit of a killer um, for everyone. But I think that that's something that, that we're pretty keen on working working on um, as we play round one um, but yeah I don't know I think that uh, if you if you're trying to get yourself into a game um, or trying to earn respect from your teammates the best way to do it is is from tackle pressure defensive pressure and you know getting getting the boys up off the ground as well when, when they're down using your voice as well um, that always yeah that always can can make a pretty big difference um, but one thank you power pretty good though they've got like Jared Blair a few uh, ex, like, well, he's an ex AFL player. I don't know if they've got any others, but um, around. Got a good <laughs> handball at the back. And I've gone forward to kick this ball. And it is genuinely gone, like, to the opposition. But ended up winning the back. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much 
Uh, it's pretty much it. Like I said, Phillip Island, make sure you get down. Watch the boys. It's going to be a huge game. Um, yeah, we'll see you there. That was super fun. Uh, it was good to meet all the boys. Uh, it was, yeah, it was a bloody good time. I'm really, really glad that I did that because um, I could have easily not done that. Um, but it's really, really good to, to kind of meet everyone and, um, and I don't know, just uh, learn names uh, and all that type of stuff. So, right, here we are on the one Thuggy social. This is one Thuggy, ladies and gents. There you go. And we're gonna go to Rob's Cafe and restaurant. I don't want like Macca's or something, so I've got to try something local. Let's do it. Ooh, what a trick. What do we want? Ah, we've loaded up. And uh, we've got a water. We went up there, we got a cheeseburger. <laughs> we got everything. We got the whole menu pretty much, so I'm pretty keen for this. Didn't eat that much before the game, I only had a um would have had, had that little breakfast burger and a coffee and then I had a Powerade before the game um, and then I had a muffin. Like I didn't have that much food so I'm a star. And I also had no pre-workout today so I definitely need pre-workout for round one. That's good. Guys, I don't think you understand how hungry I actually am. Like, I'm starving. I've got chicken schnitzels. I've got a burger in there. In here, I've got chippies. And then here, mate, this brings back memories. I've got more chips. I've got a dim sim and potato scallops. Are you kidding me? Let's go. The review of Rob's is to come. It's really hot. Mm. Fire up. Potato scallops, pretty crispy. I'll give a full review at the end, but now I'm hooking in. This is absolutely divine. That is the burger, baby. Look at that. Here we go. Good morning, everybody, and happy Monday. It is uh, a few days after the game. I completely forgot to do um, the Rob's review. It was really, really good. The burgers was were fantastic. Um, nice and juicy and huge, and I was so full after it, and I didn't want to film myself while I was driving as well. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much again for watching this game day vlog. Very, very exciting. We'll be playing for Phillip Island in round one, um, which is going to be 30th of March. So make sure you get down to the island for that. We are going to be playing against Warrigal. Um, that's an Easter Saturday clash on March 30. So make sure you get down to that. Like, subscribe, comment so you don't miss any more of these future videos. Um, but yeah, I really, really appreciate you guys. This year is going to be so much fun. Like I said before, we have so much planned. Um, so yeah, make sure you don't miss another video. Let's go.